Today is uh, part of my series on a uh, party theme for a religious event. Uh, this would be the centerpiece for your party. So right now I'm gonna show you how to make this really cute centerpiece. So the supplies you're gonna need for your centerpieces is first off, tissue paper. I always get my tissue paper at the dollar store and this one I was able to get a variety pack of the dots, the white and the silver, which really turned out really nice. But if you can't find that, um, gray and white would work perfectly fine. Um, even just white would work fine, but I'd probably do a mix of gray and white. Um, some trim, I also found this at the dollar store and this is a uh, ribbon, it's got gems on it which was just a fancy touch for it. Two pipe cleaners, um, any color will do, so whatever you have in stock, um, but if you have to buy them, buy white. Three of the paper doves. Now on the link below, you'll see a link for the invitation. On the invitation, I explained to you how to make the doves. So uh, I'm choosing to do one white dove and two gray doves. And the gray doves, you'll notice you need to do one in each direction because these are going to be glued together to become one dove. This dove, it doesn't matter which direction, but you just need one of that. Bamboo skewers, I get these at the food store and I use these for so many of my crafts. They just, they're really nice to use. Silver spray paint, if you can't find a container, you could use a uh, dollar store plastic container that looks like glass or a glass container, um, actually not clear glass. You would need something that's solid. What I found at the dollar store were these tin ones, which were really awesome. You'll notice the inside is orange. I actually spray painted this, so that's why I'm saying you may need spray paint. If you can find silver or if you wanna use the fake glass that you can't see through that's like antique, Look, that's perfect, um, but if you can't find something that's silver, then just buy spray paint. I'm not gonna show you how to spray paint it because it's very cold here and I like to do all that outside, but the first step you'd wanna do is spray paint your container and I just spray painted it silver. And then a weight from the dollar store, any color will do. Again, if you don't wanna see through containers, so it doesn't matter the color because you won't be seeing it and then just some white tool. Okay, so if you needed to spray paint your container, that, that's the first step that you wanna do and let that completely dry. The second step will be to make your flowers. So for my container, each container contained two flowers and two flowers, you need four sheets of tissue paper. So for me, I would use two sheets of white, one sheet of the polka dot, and one sheet of the gray. If you're gonna do just white and gray, I would do two sheets of white and two sheets of gray. And basically all you do is take your full sheet of tissue paper, and you can cut these all together at the same time. You just wanna fold it into quarters. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to get them as close together as possible. And then all you do is take your scissors and you want to cut the folds. So just cut along the folds so that you have four individual sheets of paper. Or at the end, what you're going to have if you cut them all together is eight sheets of paper. So that's all you do is just cut it into squares. So I have my squares here. So this is eight squares. And what I did was I did two sheets of white, a polka dot, a silver, a polka dot, a silver, and then two sheets of white. So you can vary it. You could do white, gray, white, gray. Um, and as you see, that's what it's gonna look like when it's done. So my center's white and my outside's white, and then I varied the two patterns in between. And all you wanna do is stack them together and you just wanna fan the sheets. So you just wanna make a fold about an inch 
And you're just gonna go back and forth, folding your paper until you've gone all the way across. like so. And that's what you should have, a fan of paper. Next step you wanna do is cut your edge. Now you have several choices on how you can cut your edge. This flower, I cut it doing just a rounded top. Whereas this flower, I did, I cut it down on either side. So you see, you get a different flower depending on how you choose to cut your top. And you can cut it in various ways. Um, I like the rounded ones, so that's what I'm gonna go with, but if you want more of a carnation look, you can cut it that way. So if you wanted the carnation look, all you do is cut it going across the top, just right at the top about an inch or so down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scallop my top. So I'm gonna just cut it and make it rounded like so. And you're gonna do that on both ends. So it looks like that. Then you're gonna take your pipe cleaner and you're gonna fold this in half because you wanna make sure you get it right into the center. You want your pipe cleaner to go right in the center. And you wanna put your pipe cleaner, you wanna hold it this way so that the pipe cleaner is gonna squish it this way because you're gonna be separating your layers. So you wanna make sure that you have it right in the center and where the um, layers are like this. You don't want to do it like this, okay? You don't want to do it on the side. You want to do it on the top. And so just squish it and kind of press it with your thumbs so that you kind of get it flattened. And then just twist your pipe cleaner a couple times. It doesn't have to be like tight because it's not going to go anywhere, but you just want it so it's like that. And then you're going to spread these two layers out. Now what you're going to do and make sure if you're using a pattern tissue, see how the pattern's only on one side. You wanna make sure that when you're separating your layers, your pattern is on the top. Because when you look at the flower, you're gonna see it from the pattern. If you didn't do it that way, your pattern would be in, on the underside. Okay, so it's really important if you're using a pattern to make sure it's on top. And all you're gonna do is just gently and it takes a little bit of time, but just gently separate each layer. And the first layer that you separate, you wanna to try to get down as far as you can, because if you don't separate your layers enough, when you get to the bottom, you're gonna run out of, it'll keep backing up, so you won't be able to separate it that well. So the prettier the flower is, the more time you take at separating each layer from each other. And it's, it's not difficult, it just takes a little patience and don't pull too hard because it is tissue paper. And so you just wanna separate each one. And once you do the one side, then you just wanna turn around and go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So see, as I get to the bottom, it's harder to separate. So the more you can separate that top layer, the better. And these are cute, um, you know, if you're not doing a party theme. Maybe you want these flowers just as decoration, or I know a lot of little girls, my daughter loves these kind of flowers. Um, you could put them in your, your child's room or do them for a girl's birthday party. They're just really cute, inexpensive, um, 
way to make a really cute flower and you can customize them because you can use any color tissue paper you want and you can make them i wouldn't do any more layers than this but you can make them bigger by making your uh, tissue paper a bigger size so you can get like giant flowers but you don't want to do too many layers because it gets difficult so that's all you do and that makes your flower so then what I'm going to do next is put my two flowers together. Now, you could just put them in here, but as you see, they, they're kind of light, so they don't really um, stay very well. So what I discovered was using a weight, and just first, I just put them together so that they look like one. And then just twist the bottom so that they stay together. And then I attach it to a weight with your and then put the weight in and that holds it all down. So it's not going to go anywhere. Now you could just leave it just like that. That would be a pretty enough decoration if you so choose, if you don't want to do a lot of work. Um, I chose to do a little extra. So the next thing I'm going to do is take my ribbon and I just measured, cut a piece of the ribbon that's going to go around the container and I'm gonna hot glue it. So I just think that just brings it a nice fancy touch to it. So I'm gonna take my flowers out and we're gonna hot glue just around the edge. Now you notice that the ribbon, cause the shape of your container goes in. So you're not gonna be able to hot glue the whole ribbon because it, it's too wide at the bottom. So all I do is just hot glue it right around the edge and make sure your seam is in the back where this is and that will hold it and you don't even know that it's not really against the bottom of the container. So we're gonna go ahead and hot glue this now. Okay, so I just got it started by just starting to hot glue it. I started the seam and then it goes pretty quick. So you just wanna run a bead of your hot glue just so far and just work your way around the whole tin until you got it glued all the way around. Okay, so now I have the ribbon hot glued and you have your flowers that go into the container. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take my stick. I leave the pointy side down because that's gonna go into our container and I'm going to take the two silver doves. The first dove, I'm just going to put a little piece of tape. So I'm going to put my piece of tape and I'm just going to tape this stick down just so it stays in place. And then I'm going to take tacky glue. You could use hot glue. I like tacky glue for this. And I think tacky glue, because I had the Mike I said before, my birds are um, a thicker paper. I like the tacky glue because it holds better, but you could also use a glue stick if you have thinner paper. And you just put the glue all around the bird and then glue your other bird to it, putting them together. And then just hold it for a few minutes until it adheres. Now for your white bird, just take about a yard of white tool, turn your bird over, get it where it's right in the center of your piece of tool. And I'm gonna put a piece of tape over that. So then this bird just goes in here. Now, I just wiggle it around a little bit till I get it in the bottom. Now, if it's a little high and you don't like it that high, you can cut off the 
bottom, which is very easy to do. And then put it back in because I want my bird to sit kind of like right in the flowers. And then that way you don't even see the stick, so you don't have to worry about the color of the stick. And then this bird I put on with a piece of tulle. Okay, so I tie a piece of tulle into a bow. Now I tied it down here so that tool is stretchy. So then I just push it up so that way it's really tight on the tin and just trim off your, and puff out your bow. So it looks nice. And there you have your centerpiece. Now you could have just stopped at the top bird or you could have just put the bottom bird on. Um, whatever your preference is, I really like that. And I really like the white bird against the silver. Um, makes just a really pretty centerpiece. So this is a really cute, really inexpensive centerpiece for your party. If this is your first time watching, welcome. And please don't forget to subscribe. If you want to receive future notifications of posts, hit the bell. And if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. It lets us know what you like. Thanks for watching and we will see you again soon.